Welcome. 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 Welcome to the British Academy Cymru Awards. I've never been before actually and, and it's it's daunting being around such talented people but you know it's it's an absolute privilege to be asked to be here. It's a fantastic evening, you know, to be nominated and to come along with friends and people that are in, you know, your world and other other worlds. It's fantastic. The Wales does so much that's so special now, you know, internationally important things. And of course they should have their own um, award ceremony. It's absolutely correct. We're all the blessed with talent, really. I mean, I'm not just talking about actors, but uh, the rest of them, you know, the Port Talbot boys and all that stuff, you know, there's something in the pollution, obviously. I think we have something in our blood that is, I don't know, it's just special and creative and we love to tell stories. I mean, the, Mab the Mabinogion, like it's, it's kind of in our heritage. So I think that that's really part of, of why we're so good at this. I think there's a poetry in the culture here. Um, and a lyricism, you know, the, the Welsh language is very lyrical. The wealth of talent that I've come across it, it, emerging and established is quite phenomenal and it's the, the industry is thriving here. It's got everything really, Cardiff, not far from London. It's got the sea on one side, mountains on the other and a lovely city in the middle. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of talent here and i um, very proud to be part of it. Yes, a year of phenomenal talent, so let's begin. And the first BAFTA Cymru Award of the night goes to Hinterland Ogwiff. Uh, a very large team of us have been in Aberystwyth for the last three or four years, uh, having the time of our lives in a fantastic county with a fantastic uh, cast and crew uh, and the support of great broadcasters as well. There's one person I'd like to mention, or we'd like to mention in particular, I'm not sure, that, I don't think he's here tonight, but um, our location manager, uh, Paul Bach, who uh, basically <laughs> is, uh, is, is something of a legend in Wales. He's amazing, he's, he's just fantastic, he's done us proud, he's, he's worked uh, incredible hours with, his, uh, with Becky, uh, the other part of the um, Locations team, and uh, he was 50 about a week ago, and uh, he got engaged about a week ago. So really, this award is for uh, for Paul. Just, just been really keen to tell uh, sort of original stories from Wales, with you know what using Wales is more than a backdrop. You know, characters that are sort of Welsh and just you know loud and proud, and uh, you know enjoying the genre. But the landscape's always been central. I mean, we we started off uh, in an office in Cardiff trying to dream up stories, and gave up sort of after a morning of that, and basically went to Ceredigion drove around, met people, went to locations, sort of fell in love with the county. And really the stories have sort of come out of that, really. And the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Tim Dickle at Amadawia. I'm a little bit of shell shocks, to be honest. I'm a little Essex boy that came to Wales and has had a lovely time since he's been here. <laughs> Uh, I've been lucky enough to meet some amazing people here. Ed Thomas gave me my first opportunity to design something here. I felt very lucky. Um, and then I've met all the lovely people from doing the passing. Um, so I'm really, really shell-shocked. I'm sort of known as a designer for doing really busy sets. So I had to kind of just hack off the ego, hack off the designer and go, um, what do we want to do with this? We want to do something a bit more interesting. We don't need to make every set look good. So if it's one chair and one item, it's those two items that got to be really important and just pare it right down for the film rather than feel that the, your design has to sort of just keep being really shouty. Me and Gareth Brynn have wanted to work together. I met him many years ago when I was a standby uh, art director and uh, we've been sort of remain friends for quite a long time and as soon as we knew we wanted to work together and as soon as I walked into the room we started talking about things he went I want you to do it and they went okay I'll do it I'll do it I'll do it and we both knew we wanted to work together and the BAFTA Cymru Award for Actor goes to Cyflwynir O Wobber E Mark Lewis Jones <laughs> I 
I have four boys scattered around the globe, Thomas, Barnaby, Alfie and Jacob. I also have a very beautiful wife who's brought nothing but great into my simple little life. Diolch <laughs> He's a uh, very complex character, and also for the first uh, 12 pages, he didn't speak at all, and <laughs> that quite appealed to me. I thought the script was fantastic. I, I, I did from day one, I, and Ed Talvan had the courage to keep cutting the dialogue and allow the pictures to speak for themselves, and uh, Richard Stoddart did a beautiful job of that. I, I was thrilled that there was a Welsh language feature, first of all, uh, you know, and particularly one that um, had this kind of texture to it. And it, uh, this this one could not have been in anything but the Welsh language. I feel. It, um, having said that, it has a huge appeal. You know, there's the the um, the themes are worldwide, but um, it sits very comfortably in the Welsh language. I feel, and, and therefore I, I'm glad it was just shot in Welsh and not back to back. I'm truly delighted to be here tonight on the occasion of the 25th anniversary of the British Academy Cymru Awards. A makeup artist described as a genius and an unbelievable talent by no less an actor than Leonardo DiCaprio. Her CV reads like a hall of fame of Hollywood blockbusters. She has the task of being Leonardo DiCaprio's personal makeup artist, often working with him in their makeup room for up to five hours a day. That must be a really tough job. <laughs> Her name, as you've probably guessed, is Sean Grigg. Before you accept the award, Sean, there are a few people who couldn't be here tonight, unfortunately, and they wanted to send you these messages of congratulation. Sean, the good thing all a meal now, now quick, our set a film and her goil a Titanic. We are the tea a choice and not, they will see Venu, Yer of Hester, Ave, Benervenesti, or team in the Ericarnoli. A Kedricarnoli, Nesti, can for more devil, Bapa Bloid, would he born in Creo and a Gadder, Bron Bob No, Sam of Bethernos Canta, can for now a Wurgilch and sound tension was where any had a set. What happened on the Titanic stays on the Titanic. Tawaith, mwyn hard yn noson, uh, llongo fach iade mawr i ti ar teulu, uh, trenni na ar fedra i fod yno gyda ti i ddathlu heno, ond trwy nesaf fyddi di i draw ma yn LA, un i gyd yn erch mlaen i gael dip ac arall yn y pwll ti o'r i fi. Hwyl am y tro, mwyn hard yn noson, llongo fach iade mawr. Ta-da! Hi, I'm Sarah Gavron, the director of Suffragette. I worked with Sian on the film and was so impressed by her work throughout. She had the challenge of creating naturalism and also having to do a number of scenes where women were beaten up in riots with the police. And she created an effect that was so convincing that we all completely believed it. And she was also, beyond that, just such a brilliant team member, always so friendly and smiley and pleasant and lovely to be with. So I couldn't think of anyone who deserves this award more. Sean, congratulations for being chosen as a recipient of the Sean Phillips Award for the 25th British Academy Cymru Awards. This award recognizes the significant contribution by a Welsh person in feature film or television. This is the first time a makeup artist has been recognized at this level, and there's no one more deserving of this award than you. Uh, most recently, your talents transformed me into a mauled hue glass, left for dead in the Canadian wilderness in The Revenant. It has been an incredible experience working with you on so many films over the last 20 years. I cannot think of anyone in the world more deserving of this award. You are truly inspirational, and I hope to work with you for another 20. Congratulations, Sean, and I miss you. It's so lovely that BAFTA Cymru have recognized one of the technical crafts in this way. So on behalf of all of us, 
thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank my friends and family who have put up with the ridiculous hours I work and the important events I have missed um, by being away on location over the years. I would especially like to thank my UK team and Cathy Blondell, Duncan Jarman, and my mother, who not only is an, an amazing mother, but an amazing makeup artist too, and taught me to always strive for perfection. Diolch So many people go to making films, and it's just lovely that they acknowledge the work of makeup artists for once, and um, you know, in doing so, they recognize all the other creative arts involved. You know, sometimes the newer techniques aren't always the best way to do it. And with that knowledge, I try and pass that on to my assistants as well and help them to, to try different things that may be old-fashioned, but sometimes they're better. And the Welsh BAFTA Camry goes to Mali Harris, Hinterland, Equip. <laughs> to be nominated but to win is something extremely special. I'd also like to thank um, the producers Ed Talvan, Ed Thomas and Nora Ostler, uh, my wonderful beautiful husband Matthew for keeping the family afloat while I've been away and to our two very spirited children uh, for allowing Mammy to play cops and murderers up a mountain for 10 months of the year. Uh, and this is dedicated to my uncle Bruce who I lost um, very recently. He once came to see me at the Royal Shakespeare Company and told me that it's never too late to teach. <laughs> uh, so this is for my Uncle Bruce. Diolch It's been a wonderful experience and it's all down to the cast and crew. It's nothing to do with me, it's to do with the writing and the production and the crew that have worked longer hours and, and work much harder than us actors. We can turn up and play uh, and they have to mop up after we've gone. The BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Leave Havin Jones. There are probably two other people I should thank. Um, one is uh, my mother, who is going to kill me because she's not here again. Um, she's going to go nuts. But uh, anyway, and the other one is um, my partner in crime, Adam, um, who who I moan with quite a bit, and, um, and also who I dream with. So um, this is for you. Yeah, I mean, I mean there are so many models, aren't there, of, of, of uh, detective stories. Um, and in many respects, I suppose, we are a, a, another example of that sort of um, Nordic noir-inspired Camry noir. Um, it, it was relatively... Uh, I guess slow in a sense, uh, just to allow the audience to kind of try and figure it out for themselves, um, but with the ob with with the odd sort of thrill and spill, just to kind of uh, pique the interest. When I embarked on the job, I didn't really know what the ending was, um, and uh, who did it was still up in the air until very late on, actually. So. Um, but I think that's, I, I mean, a lot of people saying, oh, I'd quite like to know in order to, but no, you don't need to know that. <laughs> it's, it's good to find out, and the actors were in the dark, as I was. So the BAFTA Cymru Award for presenter goes to... Will Millard, Hunters of the South Seas. I got married yesterday in uh, in us. <laughs> so, my uh, my parents, my wife are here, and we were all like throwing beer bottles into bin bags this morning. So this is this is amazing. <laughs> I just like to say thanks really to everybody um, that's helped me over the years. I first moved to Wales eight years ago, and I was just back from an expedition, and I'd filmed myself a little bit, and you know said a few bits and pieces, and I took it into Indus Films and. I met Gwen and Sal and I met Steve Robinson for the first time and he took me to one side and he said, look mate, I wouldn't wish being a presenter on my worst enemy. Um, <laughs> and when I started Hunters of the South Seas within the first week, I realized why. I was absolutely terrified and I found myself completely tongue-tied and I didn't know what to say. And he sat me down and he said, look, you just need to try and present the way that you write and it helped clear my mind. So I'm so, so grateful. For 
to Steve for everything he's done. But tonight, I'd like to dedicate this award to my mum and dad and my beautiful wife. I love you very, very much. Thank you. <laughs> the people that, that we went to go and meet have a closer relationship with the sea than anywhere else and they're, they're from the Coral Triangle which is the most it's kind of like marine biologically diverse place on the planet so it was a really interesting you know area to be in but people we met kind of subsistence whale hunters people that hunted entirely with their hands catching fish with spears breath hold diving it was absolutely incredible being in communities where you know there isn't a lot of people coming through from outside you've just got to invest the time so you know, it would usually take the second or third week before I felt like I was really starting to ingratiate myself and, and, and gain people's trust, really, because it is pretty unusual. It would be unusual here if you just rocked up at someone's house and started living with them. These people are extremely different, but if without them, you know, if you stifle their way of life with things like climate change and stopping people, banning certain practices, then you're going to make the, make, the, make the world a much duller place, really. So it was challenging. One and only Michael Palin. My friend Terry has really come home tonight. He was always very proud of his Welshness, even though John Cleese seemed to think it was the root of all his problems. <laughs> when Monty Python came together in 1969, Terry quickly established himself at the very heart of the group. It was in his and Alison's house in Camberwell that most of our group meetings took place despite John's concern that he might need a passport to go to South London. When the first series eventually came out, it was Terry who made sure that he recorded and stored the videos of all the programmes in his garage. A very smart move, as the BBC were at that time wiping tapes to make room for storage. One of Terry's finest creations was from The Meaning of Life. It was a song, Every Sperm is Sacred. Shortlisted for a BAFTA, it was beaten on the night by the theme song from an officer and a gentleman. Ironically entitled, Up Where We Belong. <laughs> I only wish I had longer to continue with the rest of the Terry Jones story, but I blame him entirely that I don't have time to mention his brilliant children's books, his crusades documentaries, his spot-on political pieces for The Guardian. Terry has been relentlessly prolific, whilst remaining the nicest man and the most wonderful friend. For all the joy and the pleasure and the laughter and the stimulation he's brought to so many people, I can think of no one more worthy of recognition tonight. The recipient of the 2016 BAFTA Award for his outstanding contribution to film and television is Terry Jones. <laughs> Up and down. Uh, um, we'd just like to say thank you for everyone. It's, um, I know it's a great honour for Dad to win this award, and just struggles we're having at the moment. It's a bit hard, but we're so proud of him. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I'm ever so pleased to present the award to Terry. It means a huge amount to me because, you know, we've worked together on so much. Um, and Terry's been a terrific help and influence to me throughout my life. You know, the things I wouldn't have done if it hadn't been Terry pushing me into them. It means something special to Terry because he was born in Wales. And Welshness is, is, is at the heart of the man. You know, he's passionate and he gets angry and he gets excited and he gets funny and he's, you know, he, he hugely, the emotion drives him, but also he's very inventive and very clever. So he must be a Welsh thing. <laughs>